This is a story that came out on Haunted.com. People are legitimately worried that men become infertile by the year 2060. And this came out September 19th, 2018. A recent article by GQ writer Daniel Noah Nalpern examined a troubling study showing that sperm counts of men in the United States, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand have fallen more than 50% over the last 40 years, basically rendering the current generation of men half as fertile as the generation of men who preceded us. If this trend of lower sperm count continues, the world could well be full of infertile men by 2060. Trust me, the world is already filled with these infertile men now. It's a lot more than they're willing to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. If you see a drop in population and you see women are not getting pregnant as much, that infertility is happening already. The good news, at least... There's a clear cause chemical found in plastic. So they're trying to blame their low sperm count on plastics. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not buying that because all of the other groups that are still reproducing are using those same plastics. I'm just saying. The bad news, these chemicals are pretty much in everything we ingest, even in food and sex toys. Again, Ladies and gentlemen, everybody is using plastics. Okay, I mean, you you can't even go shopping without things being in plastic containers. There are a lot of products that are now in plastic containers. Halpern writes that the study was meta-analysis by a team of epidemiologists, clinicians, and researchers that called data from 185 studies, which examined semen from most of 43,000 men. So it was almost 43,000 men that were part of the study. The study showed sperm counts reduced from 99 million sperms per milliliter of semen in 1973 to 47 million per milliliter in 2011, with the trend accelerating in later years. The study's lead, uh, author Haggai Levine, confirmed that men are producing less semen and semen with fewer sperm cells. Lower sperm count has also coincided with declining testosterone levels in men and a shorter anogenial distance. Okay, that's the distance between the anus and the genital area. That's what they're talking about. Okay, so whether combined or alone, these are typical indicators for other health issues in men, such as cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and decrease penis size. Wow, that sounds like a curse. When Nalpern reviewed other experts in human reproduction, they largely agree that men become infertile while still developing in the womb. So this low sperm count you know, and I did this in the other article, it occurs before they're even born. You know, it, 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 you know, so it's not something that happens throughout their life. They start out coming in this world with a problem. That's what this is pretty much saying. And you can see low production since 1970. Um, the white line, and then you see the red line, which is showing the decline in sperm. But again, I, I'm having a hard time believing that because 
you would think that would impact everybody. It's not impacting everybody. It just seems like the Western and nations where you have a high number of white Europeans, that's where you're having your biggest problem. It, they're not even talking about Africa in this article. What's worse, these uh, plastic-related chemicals in pretty much everything we eat, drink, and use on a daily basis. Water bottles, food packaging, pharmaceuticals, fruits, yogurts, lube, and sex toys. Even if you stop using these products now, they can still alter your genetic code so that your offspring could have a lower sperm count. So it's genetic, y'all. It's genetic. Basically, the only way to reverse this trend would be for all of society to stop using plastics. But that's probably not going to happen. Seeing as big plastic manufacturers refute any studies suggesting their products are harmful, Nalpern says. If infertile men become unable to impregnate women, kind of like what happens in the 2006 sci-fi drama, Children of Men, where we're screwed as a species. Our only hope, now Pern concludes, is reproductive technology that would allow scientists to make artificial sperm out of embryonic stem cells, a costly procedure that could ensure that only the rich have children. And that's sure not going to repopulate the earth if you're going to limit it to rich people. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is just confirming what the GQ article said, the one I did earlier in the month. And, you know, it's pretty much spelling out the low sperm count is a genetic thing. And I remember in the GQ article, it says these men are not only just losing sperm, they are less male than their forefathers. Something to think about. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.